Hey, welcome back to the channel. So you see all these like day in the life of a cybersecurity analyst videos out there, and I've seen a few, and I feel like they're complete poppycock. Like it's basically like you show up, you check a couple emails, you suck down a caramel macchiato, go to lunch, and leave work early. Like, no, that's not even remotely close to what working in cybersecurity is. So I, since I spent the bulk of my career in GRC, I thought who better to you know share what it actually looks like so you can really appreciate it. Now, if you're not familiar, before I get into it, when you just say cybersecurity analyst, like that is super generic. You could be a SOC analyst or you could be a vulnerability management analyst or a risk analyst, right? So the, titles matter, okay? So if you see a, a day in life of cybersecurity analyst, the first question you should ask is what's the role? But in a GRC analyst perspective, you're typically doing audit, doing risk. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're thinking entry level, like getting exposed. Most of the entry level roles are going to be around audit and information security awareness training. And that's fine because audit basically evolves into risk um, analysis and stuff like that. So it's perfect. GRC, before we get into it, is governance, risk, and compliance. And it's basically how the business is going to go about securing itself. You don't have infinite money, okay, spoiler alert. Businesses don't have infinite money. So when they are making decisions on, do we invest in a firewall or do we invest in mobile device management or hiring someone, you have to figure out like what are the actual risks and how bad are they, right? Is it like, is, there, is this a really bad one, but highly unlikely to happen? And this one's like a medium one, but like it's definitely gonna happen. Well then let's address that one and let's spend our money on that, okay? So that's why the role exists because you just don't have infinite money and you can't just randomly buy like the coolest thing on the street because you want to, right? You've got to choose things that make sense for your business. So let's talk about a day in the life. Now, before you even get going, right? You gotta start your day off. Me personally, I get up, you know, pot of coffee right down the, the hatch. You don't have to be a coffee person, you could be a tea person or whatever person, but the thing is you have gotta get right for the day because once you hit the, hit the ground running, you're gonna be moving, 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 right? Obviously you're gonna have a couple meetings and stuff like that, but for the most part, you've got to be engaged, so you've got to get right. Um, before a pandemic, you know, you'd get the drive-in. Typically on the drive-in, I would listen to the uh, current cybersecurity news. This is a big one. So this even starts really before your workday starts. As a GRC analyst, it is, or really any cybersecurity professional, but especially GRC analyst, it's really important to stay current on what is happening in the industry. Why? Because if you're making decisions on where risk is and how much risk is something and do you spend money there and maybe controls that you've already spent money on and put in place, are being circumvented or exploited, right? You need to know that. You can't, you can't find out a month later, right? You're, you're just exposing yourself to risk. So you, I would stay current on the top news, which by the way, I wanna point out is why every single weekday morning, I personally host a daily cyber threat brief with 500 other professionals, another couple thousand on replay for an hour every day where I go through the news, which would only take five minutes, by the way, if you were to go through the news uh, by itself. But because I've got 20 years of experience, I go through all the news and I stop and I actually explain what you can take from that story to actually drive cyber risk reduction for your business. So it's like, it's basically like GRC mentoring at scale. But anyways, that aside, you've got to stay current. So I would listen to that on the podcast, on the drive-in while I'm sipping my coffee, right? Oop, I spill it on myself, Rawr, I'm outraged, right? Okay, so you get into work. One of the first things you're gonna do, I don't care who you are, is check your email. You're gonna get like basically situated. Were there any fires between yesterday and today, right? If there are, cool, you respond to them. Maybe it's like, hey, should we get do something with this meeting later today? You get your schedule sorted out. Now, once you kind of you know establish a baseline for your day, you're gonna wanna go through like whatever activities you were working on. A day in the life isn't really accurate because GRC analysts are typically working on like multi-week or multi-month projects. So a project might be an enterprise risk assessment or a technology risk assessment, right? So you would go through that 
risk assessment. And you know, if you're starting, maybe you spend an hour that day going through and figuring out what controls are you gonna be testing, right? Okay, so we're gonna be looking at access controls today, right? Break it up into reasonable work. Well, maybe you identify those things and then you send out an email to the vendor of the product or to the business stakeholders who are working with that product and say, hey, I would like you to let me know how these controls are being implemented. Are you guys using multi-factor authentication? Is it federated authentication? Like these are the questions you're asking. Remember, at the end of the day, you're trying to get information so you can make informed decisions on what the risk is. Also really popular right now are vendor questionnaires. So maybe you're just working, working, working and an email comes in or a ticket comes in and it says, hey, we wanna uh, collaborate with this business, but they sent us this questionnaire. The questionnaire is basically gonna ask how are controls at your business being implemented, whether they're technical controls, like do you have a firewall, multi-factor, they could be operational controls. What happens when someone quits the company? Do you terminate their access? What happens when um, you terminate a contract? Do you pull the data back? Whatever, right? Uh, operational, it could be administrative, right? Do you guys have cybersecurity insurance? Do you guys um, have some third party who hosts your data for disaster recovery or something like that, right? So whatever these things are, you as an analyst or I would either have to go get that information or through repetition, you would already know the answer to some of those questions, right? Okay, so now you've dealt with like questionnaires, you've dealt with you know ongoing audits, keeping those things going and moving forward. Um, another thing that you might have is information security awareness. Now, as a GRC analyst, you are the interface for security to the business. And listen, the business, whether it's the finance people, the operations people, the sales people, they don't care about cybersecurity. And I say that slightly you know, flippantly, but they don't. They care about sales, they care about finance, they care about operations, they care about budget, right? They're doing their job for the business, you're doing your job for the business. So in order to be successful, we have to have a faction, hello GRC analyst, who is responsible to go out into the business and educate them. And I'm not talking about a stupid PowerPoint and being like, here, watch this and you'll be educated. No, it's like scheduling time with the finance department's um, team during their weekly meeting and saying, hey, listen, uh, I'd love to get the first five minutes of your team meeting to talk about business email compromise. Two slides, tell them what happened, tell them a, a recent story that you heard about in the news because you've been watching the news and listening to the news, right? Then you maybe you meet with HR and do that, right? So, But you set these things up like one a week or one every couple weeks because you're gonna wanna tailor the messaging for each of those factions, right? So that's, that's another kind of day in the life. Now, uh, internally, on the InfoSec team, if you're a team of any size, you're gonna have weekly meetings, very likely, where the whole team gets together and shares what's going on, different projects, different initiatives. You need to be in those meetings because you have to hear what are the SOC analysts seeing and what threat intelligence have you got from your staying current that you can bring to them? What new tools have you heard about that you can bring to them? And by the way, if what they're seeing, the SOC analysts, is new or nuanced or different, then you need to inform your risk reduction strategy and your long-term play on where you're investing money and resources to make sure that you're addressing those risks. That's the name of the game. And honestly, that's why A, cybersecurity is so fun because it never gets boring, and B, why it's not for everybody because you have to stay vigilant. You need conviction. It is always going, no days off, right? I mean, you could take a vacation, you could take a weekend off, obviously, but I'm saying you don't just punch in and kind of like coast along. It is a engaging, interactive, demanding uh, field, frankly. Another common activity will be a meeting with like the IT people. So cybersecurity and IT are oftentimes different groups. Uh, and you'll need to talk to them because a lot of times you need the IT people to Im implement things for you for you to be successful in your job. You can't patch a server. You can't upgrade an application. They have to do that, but you have to uh, coordinate with them and explain to them what those risks are. GRC analysts is a lot of communication, right? Yeah, there's some technical aspects to it and doing uh, threat modeling and risk assessment, but it's a lot of communication. You gotta get good soft skills uh, and you're gonna deal with some, some difficult 
customers or different difficult business people who are going to um, be disparaging and you know insulting and not listen to you right and really all you've got to do is explain the risks make them aware inform them as best you can and <clears throat> if they choose not to I mean then obviously uh, you'll have to engage management and the business in order to achieve that but at the end of the day it's important to realize as a GRC analyst your job is to enable the business to be successful as secure as you can make it right so some businesses you can't you can't make them drink the water right you can lead them to the water you can't make them drink the water um, but that that communication is part of that now in the afternoon you're going to continue doing these things obviously you will take the lunch so the silly videos where people just drink macchiatos and take early lunches and stuff like you will take lunch i will say be careful uh, i used to eat my lunch at my desk and continue working because i'm a lunatic uh, but do take time for yourself mental health uh, is a really important thing in cybersecurity. Making sure you take breaks, take time for yourself is vitally important. In the afternoon, typically things have kind of cooled down. Um, maybe you have like a three o'clock meeting or something like that. But for the most part, uh, you know, three to five, you can probably grind on some projects you're working on. Maybe um, another common thing is to like be uh, investigating a new technology. Uh, analyzing a new technology, maybe hopping on a call with a, a vendor to get a demo of a technology. Um, you know, just because, you know, you need to be mindful of these things. With, you know, legacy and end-of-life systems, you got to be constantly aware of where things are going to be going offline or, or end-of-life. And IT people should be telling you this. You can help be aware and educated on what's coming down the pike and how it might integrate with other pieces of technology you either have or what the IT people are talking about. Another thing that you might do, which is very important, is continuing to define uh, what skills you need and then getting the training and education you need. So maybe you carve out one hour to do a webinar and learn more about identity and access management in Azure, right? Or cloud computing. That's a, that's a very important thing in our industry. Uh, GRC analysts, you, you have, or really any analyst, you have to stay skilled up. Um, threat actors pivot all the time so you need to stay skilled on how to do different things because it's not always the same it's not rinse and repeat uh, so I would I would recommend getting some training at least once a week again a day in the life doesn't really make sense a week in the life is probably a more appropriate way to share these type of experiences and stories um, collaborate with your teammates find out about training that they have maybe resources they have uh, etc it, it's very very valuable um, yeah, just, just be mindful of that. One of the cool things about GRC Analyst is typically you will have set schedules, so a day in the life is really a day. Uh, you typically won't get called in um, late at night for some type of like emergency incident, unless it's like a really, really bad one and they need all hands on deck. For the most part, it will be the SOC analyst and the IR team that gets brought in for that while you get to sleep peacefully in your bed. So a day in the life includes the evening while you're getting a good night's sleep. So that's basically uh, the GRC analyst role in a nutshell. I love it. I, I spent the bulk of my career doing it. I went to some amazing places. I, I got to go to the South Pole, New Zealand, South America, um, you know, all over the United States. So it is really fun. Uh, it's very enjoyable. And like I said, there's going to be a growth of opportunities in the GRC space. So definitely check that out. Uh, I was making this video just for a day in the life, but if you would like to go deeper and actually learn the practical skills of GRC Analyst, I actually have a class called the GRC Analyst Masterclass. I'll drop a link below. Um, I've gotten tons and tons. I probably have like 26,000 students who have gone through the program. 99.99% have loved it. Uh, I'll, I'll share all that. You can check it out if you want. I was making this video more just to tell you about a day in the life since the ones I've seen are so ridiculous. Uh, but there is that if you're interested. All right, I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. If you want to learn more about the risk assessment part of GRC, check out that video right there. I made it. I think it's cool. I think you will too. I'll see you later.